I'm Brian Harper for Driving.ca and this is the 2015 Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4 or what I like to call the Maxi Mini. When this car first arrived in the spring of 2011, it was the first Mini to exceed 4 meters in length. It was also the first 4-door Mini and the first with all-wheel drive. Keeping in mind its greater weight and higher ground clearance, the Countryman still has pretty much all the handling and driving dynamics of a regular Mini. It has great handling for an all-wheel drive vehicle, much more so than any conventional compact SUV. Unfortunately, the tester came with a six-speed manumatic transmission and not a manual, and that's a travesty. But that said, it's a pretty good manumatic, especially if you use the gear shift lever. Not so much the paddle shifters, which are old school. In other words, you have to pull it forward to upshift and push with your thumbs to downshift. The newer paddle shifts have an upshift on the right hand side and a downshift on the left hand side. This is a very compact, compact SUV. But that said, I can still get into the back seat. There's not a ton of space, but there is knee room and there is headroom. What's new for 2015 is the consolidation within the Countryman range. The base Cooper model, the one with the normally aspirated 1.6 liter engine, is no longer available. Neither is the car available with front wheel drive. It only comes with the all four all wheel drive system. For people looking for a mainstream, compact SUV, this is not the vehicle for them. This is a vehicle for people who like to drive and who want something unusual. The Countryman is about more practicality. The availability of four doors and all-wheel drive, extending its use for four seasons. 